Greetings, B. Coleman Aviation, Gary, Indiana. I uh, just dropped my son and his family off and our grandson. And now I've got an empty plane headed back to Eagle, Colorado. This should be a really nice flight. It's uh, 6 p.m. there at Eagle. It's about a two and a half hour flight back. The sun's gonna be setting. The mountains are absolutely, absolutely beautiful at that time, which is why I chose to live there. So, right seat's empty. Why don't you join me? Let's go. I'm a former Air Force pilot with over 1,000 hours in the F-16. Today I run a medical equipment business and use my private jet to visit customers or travel with my family and friends. I video some of those flights and share them here. My name is Greg and this is my YouTube channel. So I've already loaded my flight plan for the flight out. It is in the info section, in case you're wondering. Got to run through my bit checks on the overhead panel here. A lot of you ask me to dialogue these as I do them, and it's a little bit tough to do so, but basically a roll and spoiler and flap check here. Six zero at one two visibility one zero sky clear below one two thousand tip two six two point one six altimeter three zero one one RNAV approach and use landing in a parting runway two no tams and advisories ILS DME out of service five G no tam in effect ground control is for vehicles only contact tower one two five point six for all aircraft services bird deer coyote activity on or about the airport migratory waterfowl drive class delta. Advise initial contact, you have information, Romeo. Okay, checklists are on the center screen there, as well as in a book, but the normal checklist is just easier to do right here. I set the landing field elevation, and that takes care of the pressurization for me. Gary, Premier 390, Golf Mike. Premier 390, Golf Mike, Air Tour. 390 Golf Mike information, Romeo. And I'd like to pick up a nine bar clearance to Eagle EGE. Premier uh, 300 uh, zero Golf Mike, you're looking for clearance. I'm ready. 390 Golf Mike. Hi, Premier uh, 300 zero Golf Mike, you're cleared to the Eagle County Regional Airport via Radar Vectors PQ that is filed. Maintain 3000, expect flight level 400, one zero minutes after departure. Control frequency 128.2. Golf Mike, Radar Vectors, PQ, then S file, 3000 initially, flight level 400 as a final, 128-2-3-1-2-1, squawk. Premier Zero Golf Mike, Rebecca, right? 390 Golf Mike, we're ready to taxi with uh, Romeo. Premier Zero Golf Mike, runway 30, taxi the Alpha. 
330, yeah, Alpha 390, off mic. All right, so get to the end of the runway. I just need to turn on my, I uh, need to clear this stuff off and get two ignition lights there. I do that by turning on my stall heat, my pedo heat, and my engine ignition to on. Everything else is ready to go. I've got all my trim set. I'm gonna turn my overhead, I got on my overhead panel, I have some exterior lights I need to turn on. And we will be on our way. 125.6 is tower, that's the frequency we are on. We got 128.2, which is our backup, which is our departure frequency. Okay, 3121 is my squawk, 3,000 feet. Radar vector is to PQ. Uh, the FMS is showing two hours, 13 minutes to Eagle. That's probably not going to be accurate. It'll update as we get going, but uh, I'd say it's going to be more like uh, two hours and 30 minutes. Premier Zero Golf Micro, runway 30, turn left heading 270, maintain 3,000, clear for Premier 390 Golf Mike, clear for takeoff, runway 30, left turn 270, 3,000 feet. Okay, heat's on, ignition's on, light's on. It's time to get this party started. V1's 110, rotate 113, V2 124. view of Chicago to the north there. I don't think the cameras will pick it up yet. All right, 742 radar contact, Penny Gary Airport, Middle Alpha 3009 or uh, what's your destination? Uh, we're going up to DePage Airport where a Cessna 150, 732 Juliet. 742 Juliet. All right, the cameras might be able to pick up uh, Chicago way out there in the distance. Didn't say way, it's not that far out there. Six thousand feet, I'm gonna throttle back to keep my speed below two fifty. Is going to be into the sun all day. Premier Zero Golf Mike, turn right heading 300 vector for your climb. Right heading 300, 390 Golf Mike. November 4, Fox Julia, turn left heading 040. 040, Fox Julia. Talk at 4 Fox Juliet, contact departure on 120.55. 20.55 Fox Juliet. Premier Zero Golf Mike, climb and maintain 8,000. 8,000 Zero Golf Mike. Okay, 
Up we go. Remember, zero golf Mike, comma, maintain one three thousand and maintain two five zero knots to the side. One three thousand, two hundred fifty knots, three ninety golf Mike. So uh, I can do flight level change two fifty. Airplane will climb at two fifty. Gosh darn, folks, that is bright. Premier Zergoff Mike, proceed direct PQ. Direct PQ, Zergoff Mike. Okay, so let's look at direct PQ. Remember Zergoff Mike, contact Chicago Center, 134.82. 3482, Zergoff Mike, good day. Okay, let's do this. Okay, direct PQ. Execute, gonna come up here and hit nav. Now the airplane will make a turn that direction. Chicago Premier 390 Golf Mike 10 5, climbing 1 3000. Premier 390 Golf Mike, Chicago Center, welcome, climbing team 50230 and resume normal speed to somebody know what that's going to be. Flight level 230, and we'll do 240 knots in the climb 390 Golf Mike. Center giant 3800 heavy is 6,900 climbing 12,000. Giant 3800 Chicago Center, welcome. Climb and maintain level 230. Climb and maintain level 230, giant 3800 heavy. Thanks. So I just did this flight uh, in reverse from Eagle to Gary. I didn't film it. I had uh, family on board. They they're not crazy about me filming when. United 1868, contact Chicago, 124.35. There was quite a bit of convective activity. And you can see now it's kind of moved out to the uh, east a little bit. So we'll be in good shape. Uh, some of this might come into play, so we'll have to work our way around that. But uh, for the most part, it seems to be uh, dissipating and moving to the east, which is advantageous to us. I can go menu, Eagle. So Eagle right now is 240 at seven, which is nice because it's runway 25, uh, 10 miles and clear. Uh, pretty warm, 25 degrees. Although up where our house is, it's generally quite a bit cooler. Climbing through 18,000 feet. There's an 18,000 foot climb check we'll do. Basically we want to make sure the cabin is pressurizing. Ideally, you don't want to find that out at 18,000 feet. You'd like to find that out earlier. Now, a lot of you reach out to me and uh, tell me you're in uh, Indianapolis on a layover or something, and, and I'm no longer in Indianapolis. Had some uh, relatively significant uh, professional uh, changes so over the... Zero Golf Mike, contact Chicago Center on 124.72. 2472, Zerg off mic. Good day. Chicago Premier 39, Zerg off mic. Flight level 180, climbing flight level 230. Fairway 644, Chicago Center, climbing at 320. Chicago Premier 39, Zerg off mic. 18.5, climbing flight level 230. Zero. Uh, three nine zero, Mike. Our golf, Mike. Chicago climb. Maintain climbing. Ten five three two zero. Flight level three two zero. Three ninety golf, Mike. So, anyway, as I was saying, I've had some uh, relatively significant changes in my professional uh, career, and uh, no longer in Indianapolis. My wife and I split time between Naples, Florida, where you've seen a lot of the videos out of, and. Um, the uh, Eagle, Colorado area, which is why you've seen a lot of flights in and out of Eagle uh, recently. Very little business flying anymore. It's been a very, very nice change. Center throwing wing 644, 20.9, climbing to 230. I would say a bit of a dream come true, so I uh, feel very fortunate. Center throwing wing 644, 21.3, climbing to 230. Airway 644, Chicago Center, climb, maintain 5320. 
Well maintained 320, and feel very fortunate to have all of you riding along with me. So let's take a look at performance flight log. So we've been airborne 11 minutes, used 360 pounds of fuel, covered 47 miles over the ground. And let me see, we can go back, we go to fuel management, gives us a bunch of information. Basically, again, 360 pounds is what we've used. 1450 total is our fuel flow at the moment. As we continue to climb, that will decrease. And uh, the airplane becomes very fuel efficient up at altitude. So right now, this is saying we're gonna land at 844 local time in two hours and 14 minutes. Uh, as I said, I, I don't know that's going to be 100% accurate. Uh, I think that uh, on the way out here, we had um, about 70 knot tailwinds, tailwinds. Uh, those are going to be headwinds on the way uh, on the return. So I think we're going to be closer to, <coughs> excuse me. Southwest 936, contact Chicago Center, 125.57. Two hours and... 2557, so 30 minutes or so. Yeah, 125.57. Uh, we'll go. land probably about uh, oh, 255, 855 maybe, something like that. We'll see. Might have a little bit of maneuvering around due to the weather that's uh, over Colorado. And again, we can look at that by going to our next rad uh, picture. I can pull up the whole country. See our little airplane there. And I can zoom in on any area. I also get quite a bit of information on my iPad as well. So coming into Eagle, we will do, we'll come over Kremling and do the LDA runway 25 approach, even when on a clear uh, day like today, um, I'll generally do that approach. Uh, the LDA runway 25 glide slope and the visual glide slope, the Vassy glide slope, do not overlay each other. So as you come in uh, and transition to a uh, visual approach at maybe a, a couple mile final, uh, you'll start to hear the glide slope warnings uh, from the airplane, indicating that we're below the ILS glide slope. But uh, typically you'll see the VASIs on the side of the runway and, and they'll be indicating that you're on glide slope. So there's a note on the uh, instrument approach plate that references that. Uh, occasionally I'll get comments about people uh, saying, oh, you're ducking below the glide slope. So um, anyway, you can do with that information what you want. Nice long runway at uh, Eagle. They actually have, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've kind of shown in the past some 757s coming in there, which coming in, in and out of there, which uh, is pretty impressive, really. It tells me it's a pretty muscular airplane. Pretty impressed by that. So July 3rd today, skies are a little quiet. Either that or I've lost my radio. Speaking of radios, my headset that I absolutely love, one of the uh, cords has become frayed and it is intermittent. So I've got to, they don't sell the thing in the US anymore, but I got to contact the manufacturer and see if they'll uh, help me out with a repair because uh, I really like the headset that hangs around your neck and has the molded earpieces custom made for your ears for my ears it's the most comfortable headset I've ever worn as a matter of fact I don't, I, it doesn't even do it justice to call it a headset I'm not sure what you'd call it 
necklace set. I don't know, but um, it's really nice. So as you can see, nobody's back there. It's beautiful up here. I see my camera set up. There's a little, um, what the heck they call these cubes. A little GoPro there that I've got to film the dash. A couple more. Obviously the one I've got in my hand. I actually use a handheld uh, audio recorder. Actually, it's not a handheld audio recorder. It's a remote audio recorder. Heck, I don't even know if it's a remote audio recorder. Hey, here's what it is. You guys can see it. I'm at a loss for what you call it. Digital audio recorder. How about that? Okay, we're going to uh, continue our climb here shortly to uh, flight level 400. We'll turn things back on on our uh, approach into Eagle. All right. After a long time, it's been up to 60, it shows over here in some places, others in the 50s. All right, so we have been uh, cleared from 40,000 to 32,000. Yeah, about two hours ago. And now down to 30,000 feet, level 300. Then it's over 40 into 40s, 50s, and 60s. So we've been heading that way. Everybody goes pretty much, uh, what to be about a good 15 heading, at least from where you are now to go around it. The Eagle Tower closes at 7 p.m., so it's, uh, we're going to be landing uh, an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes after that. So uh, it'll be just like a uncontrolled field with respect to the radio calls. The weather's good at uh, Eagle. Went straight down the runway at five knots. So there's no excuse for not having a nice landing. The fine people go about up to 100, 110 heading from your position. Uh, do you come to the DA right? Uh, and they're going to experience more airport here, Sam. We are coming up on the front range of uh, uh, the Rockies. About 130, 140 miles from here. Let that bird up to 2624, level 350. Delta 2624, Denver Center. significant cell there to the south. I guess down by Pueblo. For now, zero five, contact number set of one three five point one two. Okay, I believe it was one three five one two three nine to go flank. Yeah, it's uh, thirty five twelve, see ya. See ya. Denver Premier, 390 Golf Mike, flight level 300. Premier, 390 Golf Mike, Denver Surrender. Man, you get Denver, the, the best sunsets out here. Four zero. Delta 301, Denver Surrender. Yeah, we lost it because the uh, high uh, blowover for the thunderstorms. For some reason, these uh, 321 just lose it in there. Delta 301, yeah, and um, you might get some chop and tell about um, maybe Meeker, and then after that it seems like it improves. On to take it. So we will be landing right at about sunset, although it'll still be pretty bright. So I'll have to land, taxi to uh, my hangar, and then I actually have to put the airplane away myself. Oh, I know the struggle, it's real, right? Pretty easy process. My two hangar mates are in there. A uh, Phenom 100 and a Citation Mustang. So we're we're all here at the moment. It's not actually yeah, my hangar. I'm actually renting go. it from the two the owners. Although I wouldn't mind having my own hangar. Please 2799 Agent 2799, Good fellow with stuff. Number zero golf mic and all discretion. 18 level 270. Flight level 270, pilot's discretion, 390 golf mic, we're heading there now. Thank 
Okay, starting to come over the mountains now. I don't know if you can see them. It's the way the sun's kind of going through the clouds there. Makes it a little hard to see. But they are there. Rocky Mountain National Park to the north of us. Cue the John Denver music. Number zero, Gulf Mike. Out to Denver Center, 119.85. Roger that, sir, Gulf Mike. That was a really sloppy. I, I didn't realize what he was telling me. That was sloppy. Denver Center, Premier 390, Gulf Mike, 28.2, down to flight level 270. That's me, that's your golf mic number center, Roger, the center maintain 16,000. Eagle altimeter is 3012, advise the weather. Okay, we're down to 16,000, 3012, we do have the weather, and just looking for the LDA 25, 390 golf mic. And uh, November 0 golf mic, got a note them there about the uh, Pappies, high intensities out of service, and the glide path uh, out of service as well. Roger that. There's your golf mic fly, your present heading, I'll have a turn to quandary here shortly. Okay, present heading, and we'll get a quandary set up. 390 golf mic. Eight fly, your present heading, I'll have a... Uh... Oh, where are we going to go with you here? I'll have um, Delta Bravo Sierra here shortly. Right, so that pre present heading for now, you have 1788. Let's get flight 491, contact Denver approach 119.3. 19.3, pressure 491. At 1788, clear direct Delta Bravo Sierra. Direct Delta Bravo Sierra, United 1788. That's me, Golf Mike, clear direct to Quandary. Direct to Quandary, 390 Golf Mike. At 1788, contact them at 135.12. 3512, United 1788. Uh, zero golf mic, both quandary at above 14,000, cleared LDA runway 25. Quandary at above 14, cleared the LDA 25390 golf mic. That was 5528, I've marked Steve, I'll go ahead and close you out, have a good night. Denver Center 89, 1102, 3,035, 2, descending clock level 270, slight right deviation for weather. United 1102, Denver Center, Roger, and you can descend out of flight level 260, then your discretion down to flight level 230. Let me know when you pull back direction. What a beautiful Please. sunset. Okay, descend now, flight level 260, then discretion flight level 230, and then uh, when able, direct ski. All advise United 1102. Southwest 2369, contact Denver Center on 135.12. 3512, Southwest Down to the, to the south, I see uh, Dillon, Lake, Silverthorne, Breckenridge is around there. Keystone, Copper Mountain, Arapahoe Basin, all are all nearby. Okay. Now we're turning south to 29, 22, 16, 5, on the uh, cruise 6, so it's by shot. Southwest 29, 22, Denver Center, Tom and they take 260. 260, Denver 390 Golf Mike, we can go and cancel FR and switch on over. November 390 Golf Mike, Roger, no observed traffic between you and Eagle, and I haven't released anybody out of Eagle. And yeah, you go ahead and call the MR, PGT's group, have a good holiday. Happy 4th to you, thank you for your help. Eagle traffic, Premier 390 Golf Mike, uh, just outside Quandary on the LDA 25. I have VNAV set up, and I have released the altitude to go down to the lowest altitude. 
approach is 8330. Okay, I will start slowing. Airport over there. Continue on the approach here. Okay, they're just switched on over to the LDA approach. And I do not have a glide slope, as advertised. Ah, see where my house is. Okay. Turn the lights on on the field. Eagle traffic, Premier 390 Golf, Mike Washi, inbound, runway 25. That is me turning off the autopilot. 2500. All configured for landing. See the right side of the runway, there are four yellow lights. I want two whites and two reds. I'm a little bit high. But I'm way out here and correcting it, so. We'll get it all straightened out. Not to worry. Minimums, minimums. A little high, a little fast. Let's fix, let's fix that. One thousand. Okay, I like where this is right here. Five hundred. Thank goodness we have 8,000 feet.
Well, I only need 7,000 feet. Fun's not over yet, as I mentioned. I have to put the plane away. Two hours, 30 minutes. Eagle area traffic operations, vehicle staff 10, on touch with Alpha, Alpha 2 to Alpha 1, any traffic please respond, Eagle. Yeah, 390 Golf Mike, we're on uh, Alpha at Alpha 5, taxi in. Uh, to the uh, east, and we'll cross at uh, Alpha 3 over to the north hangars. Copy that. We'll uh, hold for the runway and clear across. Okay, two hours, 30 minutes, 950 nautical miles, 2540 on the fuel, about 375 gallons. Used to be at Gary, I could get fuel for about I don't know, 275 a gallon. Today it was 575, which is uh, used to be near the upper ranges, other than like Boston Logan and Midway, which are a rip-off artist. Um, but I paid 575, so. And the not too distant past, I remember paying a uh, buck 70 something at Centennial in Denver at TAC Air. Look, the other day they were still they were like 550. The fuel is expensive. for some dinner. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next flight.